Well, hello there. Hi, friends. Uh, Sin is here, and today we are back in the Iron Reboot uh, progression series kind of thing where I just kind of demonstrate how you would play as a first time, first character kind of, you know, attitude or how you'll progress naturally without anything. Though I do have, have noted in the past I am using Kishin uh, from my old account as I find it necessary to speed up the rate at which I can produce videos and such. In the background, you're seeing me level to 105, mainly because I want to unlock Monster Park, which I'll have playing very shortly. Uh, Monster Park is a dungeon, a solo dungeon, uh, you cannot enter in a party, obviously, since it's solo, that you can complete up to seven times a day. You get two free entries, and then you can purchase five tickets from the cash shop either at 3.5 mil per ticket or 300 reward points per ticket. If you purchase with reward points, I think you're limited to 20 or 30 a month, but still it saves on money if you're not doing Ursus, which we'll get into later. Either way, uh, the reason I leveled to 105 and then did Monster Park is because I was unsure of my capability of being able to kill Zakum, which is a boss that you can now are limited to fighting once per day, but provides insane XP from killing all parts of the body. Uh, we'll see a short clip at the end of me killing Zakum. But uh, to reiterate, uh, Monster Park is a theme dungeon. It doesn't necessarily, well it's not a theme dungeon, it's a dungeon. It doesn't award EXP on killing mobs, instead it puts it into an EXP bank. So when you complete all stages of the dungeon, you are awarded all the EXP at the end, and it tends to be very, very good XP. Um, I would highly recommend doing it every day, as there is also a medal that is rewarded. It takes at minimum 11 weeks to do, and that means you are doing 7 entries a day. Uh, every day, for 11 weeks, on the character you want the medal on. It is currently the best in slot metal that is available all the time. It is the probably the most time consuming uh, best in slot metal because, you know, it takes 11 weeks and that's with 100% dedication. But uh, it it is best in slot. It provides IED or ignore enemy defense, which we'll have to go into much more detail and I'll have to do a little more research on so I can explain it properly. Uh, other than that, for this short clip, I can just ex I can just say uh, I ran the same dungeon because you are there's three stages of Monster Park. Uh, there's the you unlock it at 105, and then you're in the first stage, which only includes one dungeon until 115, and then after one as soon as you hit 116, you are in the second stage until 160, which involves a bunch of different dungeons based on your level range. And then at 160, you're there till uh, you have all those stages unlocked for the. Or until the until you reach 250. I mean, the EXP obviously slows down as it as it's made for different level ranges when you hit that level. But at the same time, it is a uh, good EXP. Monster Park Extreme currently is closed. I do not really remember well what it was a part of uh, or what it was used for. So, but it's inactive right now, so you need not worry. Uh, so to simply reiterate. Uh, just to go over one quick time, 105 unlocks Monster Park, 7 entries a day, uh, 11 weeks, 7 entries per day, every day, for Best in Slot Metal. Other than that, I'll see you in the next clip. Well, hello again. Uh, second clip, and probably the last little feature I'll be showing in this video is a the first boss you're most likely going to fight, um, Zakum. Zakum unlocks out... Technically, I think it unlocks around level 50, and you're not necessarily able to complete it until around level 100, uh, for the most part, unless you're a uh, Legion Mule or you're playing normal servers. Um, Legion is another thing that we'll have to go in depth completely, as it's a that will be its whole own video, as it's very, very complex. Um, other than that, Zakum is unlocks a few things. It unlocks, uh, well. First off, it's a boss. It gives you insane amounts of levels. As you can see here, I got like four levels just from killing it once. Um, I would re wouldn't recommend doing it, especially if it's your first character until 105. And even then, if you're like 103, 105, um, because 103 is when you get double skill points and you'll be able to upgrade most of your passives. I would 
also detail that uh, if you get to 105 before you fight it, I might as you might as well do Monster Park uh, because you know you're just it'll just make, it'll just ensure you get the kill. And uh, remember, you only get one entry per day. It's not one kill per day, but it's one entry. So if you fail that entry, you lose out. Uh, if you've noticed in the top right, I have a one. There's another blue buff on me and a gray buff uh, that are very similar. Those are called runes. I didn't demonstrate how to get them, and hopefully, I have a clip of me activating one. But they award 2x XP for the duration of said rune, and along with a bonus effect. Runes have a cooldown, obviously, which is what the gray rune means. It's a, your cooldown. You cannot activate another rune until that goes away, and dying will not remove that buff. Runes are insanely powerful, and there's ways to extend them with buff duration and the link skill, which we'll get into later. But for the most part, you see a rune, you take it, you keep training, because again, it's double XP, what's not to love? There occasionally are events, such as the haste event, which extend uh, extend the power of them and also reduce the cooldown on how often you can take them. So that's very, very beneficial. Uh, so uh, since they give double EXP, I would highly recommend taking one before you go into Zakum. As long as you don't die during your run on Zakum, you're gaining two, e two times XP uh, along with other buffs that you may have. Monster Park as going back to that actually has a few buffs of its own. Monster Park, when you clear a, uh, completely clear the dungeon, you are awarded a box, depending on the day, will have different rewards in it. Opening said box will give you that reward, whether it be meso, XP coupons, uh, spell traces, resources, trait items, or whatnot. Um, it awards Monster Park co Coins, Monster Park coins, we'll just call it that. They're commemorative coins or something like that, but they can be used to buy potions. And these potions are insanely strong. Uh, there's four types. One is the Gold Pot, which awards a 10% EXP buff and 4k health and MP. The other one is a Green Buff, which actually increases your attack speed and breaks the hard speed cap, which we'll go over more in detail as attack speed is very, very important for maximizing your DPS. Then the two other buffs are either magic attack plus 30 or weapon attack plus 30. Red and blue, uh, red for weapon attack, blue for magic attack. So depending on the class you're gonna play, uh, we'll change which one you're taking. So with those out of the way, there's one more item that is very significant to mention in the Monster Park shop, going back to that. It costs 150 coins, but it's called the Greed Pendant. It, it, increases the drop rate by 20% of equipment items only. So, wearing said item will help alleviate if you're farming for a specific item from certain bosses or such as Blackgate, which we'll go into later as I did do a few runs of Blackgate, but I was very, very unlucky. You might have noticed that Zakum dropped a few interesting items. Uh, it drops the Zakum weapon pertaining to your class and it knows what weapon to drop if you're fighting it with said class. It's I don't know how rare the drop rate is, and you can you can obviously uh, multiply your chances by having the greed pendant on, or and taking out big spider as well. Uh, it also drops two pieces of the boss set effect, which we'll go into more detail later as we fight more bosses, but. Uh, Sets are uh, items that when you are wearing all of them, or some of them, will provide effects uh, as you reach a certain amount of items equipped from said set. Uh, Zakum drops the Condensed Power Crystal, or CPC, and the Aquatic Letter I. Uh, both are... F it, well, not both, but uh, one of them is the eye accessory, one of them is the face accessory. Two parts of the boss set effect, and you gain a, a bonus from the set effect at three items equipped from the boss set. I would, I would recommend doing Zakum every day as a low level, as it awards a lot of XP, and it also, if you don't have those two items, they're very, they're good fill-ins until you get Sweetwater accessories, which we'll be going into later. The last thing I want to mention about Zakum is that it dropped a blue crystal. It's pretty big and it's pretty easy to see, but since the rework uh, from Cadena's patch or the Nova patch, uh, 
Bosses no longer drop potions per se, or they don't drop as many, but they drop a boss crystal, which can be sold in the FM, which is a dead area in Reboot, but you can access the free market. And in the free market, you can sell to this uh, NPC called the Collector. And depending on the boss you defeated and depending on the difficulty will increase or decrease the price of said crystal. Most bosses sell for at least 1 million plus. And obviously as you get towards the higher end game bosses, uh, they're going to be selling for more and more. So it's very, very important to do your daily bosses if you want to make money in the background and you don't want a meso farm. Which again, we're going to be going into more detail very, very soon. Uh, other than that, I think that concludes this episode, and I'll see you friends later. Bye!